you know, vets have a schedule. They come out, we're going to be here at 9 o'clock, we got this to do, this to do, and if they got hung up somewhere before, now they're late. And we still got this to do, and this to do, and this to do, and we got somewhere else to be at in an hour or two or whatever it is. So they've got these things to get done. So they don't necessarily give it the time. And if there's a problem with the horse, they just they they twitch them, lip chain them, whatever they got to do to get them the whole field, get the job done, and we're out of here. Got other things to do. So best thing we can do here is to get the horses prepared for that sort of thing so then the other doesn't happen, right? So then anybody can come in and do what they're going to do and not have an issue, right? So what I've, I guess what I've noticed with horses that are really needle shy, one, if they see this, sometimes they'll start to react. She's not right now, but where you would typically, either a vaccination would be in the neck, you know, probably up here. Or if they have to get a, a, a shot in the vein, like to draw blood or, you know, for a Coggins or see that, that kind of reaction right there isn't real severe, but that's the beginnings of it. And they already know if, if somebody's gonna poke them here, they know what's coming next, All right? So, and usually if they're really react, if they're gonna react to a needle poorly, They'll be real jumpy, right? This is what they do. That reaction right there, oops, see, it went away. That real jerk is exactly what they do when you put, try and put a needle in. So, because they tense up their muscle in their neck here, see, just like that. So if I can get her to not do that, right? more likely she's going to be okay with uh, get, getting poked with a needle. So, but it's a timing issue and everybody makes, does all sort of stuff to get them to accept a needle. See, now I can poke her all around here and she doesn't do that. I mean, it's pretty simple for her. I mean, it doesn't always go quite this nice. <laughs> but. You know, see, so now I can do this here, and it, and she's not looking away, and the the more relaxed she is, the the e the less painful it is for the horse. If they tense up and you have to go through tight skin or tight anything tight, it's more painful for them. So, um, I mean, this would be the ideal time to either put a needle in here for a vaccine or something for drawing blood. Would you describe the timing? What, what do you mean by timing? Oh, timing. Uh, doing all these kind of things, and I don't want to create anything, but if I do this and nothing happens, wonderful. Leave them alone. Right? <clears throat> okay, so I'll, I'll switch sides and see how she's on the other side. I, like I said, I don't want to create something and then have to fix it. So it's the new side, it's the right side, that, right there. But I kept poking the same, and the first couple times she really jumped, and the next time she didn't, so I quit. Right? I mean, ideally, see, I could get this here, and nothing happens. She doesn't react at all. Now, <clears throat> I'll just take her for a little walk. <laughs> Your Walter calls it changing the subject. And then start over. So if I come here and do this here, see, I get almost nothing. See, where the first time I got a really big jump. But if I keep after that, I'm going to create a really big jump. And then I'll be worse off than what I was. So, but that's what I mean. See, trying to, just trying to find what is okay. And then, like, when it's okay, stop. There we go. See all this business? She's got her head up, her neck upside down. She is got right there, see? That part. 
finally, you know, and I quit when she was thinking about doing something different, getting softer. So, so and then giving the horse a minute to think about that, what, what just happened, right? What was it that just happened? I like that jumpiness and that jumpiness right there to settle just a bit. And then build on that. See, she's looking at you. I mean, she's thinking on that. Okay? Still thinking on it. <laughs> So if I can get her not to react so much, and then let her kind of think on it a minute, uh, on your leg, <coughs> then I can probably come up here and do and pull her pretty hard, and she might react there just a little bit, but she's not she's not going all over the arena, not there. What's that? Get yourself. She's got all these owies all over herself, she wants to reach down and give herself a scratch in the kitchen. And probably when she went to the vet to get sewed and taken care of for her last accident, before she came here, she did not get this kind of treatment. See, but now I can sit here and do this and she hardly reacts at all. So, so in that, that would be a good place to leave her. It's way different than when we started. And it wasn't a lot of commotion. Certainly nothing painful for the horse, just got her to think. <laughs> About, you know, a different answer, right? Not the answer that maybe she was uh, ready to give at first. Well, first thing, see, he doesn't really react to that. But There, that part. See, he's got his head up, and he's trying to figure out what I'm trying to do. And so the best I can do, I can tell you, is I'm just doing the same thing I was doing until I can get him to stop. And the stop part is you got to be looking for it. He was getting ready to stop, and then when he stopped, I quit. Okay, so... See now his whole head position, all of his neck position, the head's down. He's ready for me to do whatever. I can put a needle in here, I can put a needle in here, I can poke him pretty hard. I don't have anything really sharp with me. But the end of my finger, there, right there. Not that. This. This. Okay. So again, it's just getting them to accept what you're doing rather than forcing them to deal with it. Right? And the more they accept this sort of thing, not look away. <laughs> and you can get them to be there. But you gotta wait it out. And it might take a few more minutes. <laughs> How do you teach feel? It's an old problem, it's an old conversation. Everybody has it. How do you teach feel? All you can do is show somebody, if they don't know what they're looking for, it's hard to teach feel. So you have to, you have to almost prove to somebody what they're looking for, and, and so then they're looking for that, and then maybe they can get that kind of connection eventually. Doesn't happen right away like all that movement. I mean, I didn't do anything different with him than what I was doing with Snickers, right? But see, he just, one, he doesn't know what I'm looking for. So maybe he thinks I'm, I'm wanting him to do something here, but I'm not. So all I can do is wait for him to figure out that whatever he's thinking I'm wanting is not it. I'm going to do it this way. Oh, you see that? I mean, 
put, he, he bent his head toward me and put it down. Right? So. So and even if I was getting ready to put a put a needle in him um, to draw blood, or, I wouldn't necessarily do it right then. You know, because he's okay with it. Great. How about give him a break and then let him be okay with it for a minute, and then come back and first thing he did was tip his head toward me instead of look away. So there would be the ideal spot to do that. Either here or there, not down there, but you know, right where he saw. Okay, all these things are kind of fluid. You have to be in the moment or you're, you miss it. <laughs> oh yeah, well, see. Yeah, well, we've done this, we've done this dance with him before. He's looking at me, his neck soft. See, this would be, this would be like ideal for a vet to come here and go, ah, right? As long as you get it over with. Here, that's a little bit of in there. When I put my hand around the other side, he didn't necessarily care for that. So I've got him by the throat here a little bit. Big you know, and it's, they're all different, right? So there's this kind of, kind of, sort of little bit worried reaction, right? And then there's that, and then there's, uh, there's worse. There's everything in between. I mean, there's stuff like that that's way worse. I mean, I've had them back up from here to the end of the arena before they thought maybe they should have a different thought. But eventually, it all comes down to being nice and quiet and accepting. See, right there. Right there. there. Uh -oh. Not much of a... Not much of a show. Not much of a show. Yeah, and he's, but he's still thinking on it, right? He's not... Right? So everything you do with him is just put the thought in there of what happened just now and how they got how they got comfort and left alone. It's more about when you let, you, you give them a little release and leave them alone, and all the things you did. When you take it, when you, so when you give them the comfort, you take whatever you were doing away, right? And then that, that gets them to think about what happened just before that. <coughs> 